Hey guys, it's me Cass, welcome back. We are out here on the course and on the cart per usual. Today is Thursday, so it's Women's Day, which means it will probably start off a little bit slow, but from my experience, it tends to get a little bit busier throughout the day. Sorry. Okay, that's really weird. I have no idea who that was. Anyway, like I was saying, it's a beautiful day, so we have a fun video. I have a few ideas. Let's just see who this is. Hello? Bark, matey! It's time to search for buried treasure! <laughs> Starting now, you have one hour to follow five clues hidden around the course. Here be your first clue. Water under me flows, wheels over me roll. Tread carefully, matey, lest ye find a troll. There be no... Hello? Hello? It cut out. I didn't hear the last part. Well, change of plans. I guess we're going on a treasure hunt. Wait a minute. Water under me flows, wheels over me roll. Tread carefully, matey, lest you find a troll? It's gotta be the bridge. <laughs> Let's go. was way too easy. I'm too good at this. Wow! Congratulations! <laughs> that was a piece of cake. Look at that! I found a Cass Holland hat. Oh, look, it happened to go with the outfit. We got a pink ball. That's a lucky one. And... Our next clue. In this life you won't, excuse me. In this life you won't get far without some food to feed your car. You don't need to break the bank. Find a place to fill your tank. This doesn't make any sense. My car is electric. But if I had to guess, I think I know where they're going with this gas. We get gas for the cart at the maintenance yard. Let's head over to the maintenance yard. It's got to be that, right? I'm too good at this. Freaking stylish. Cue the outfit montage. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's go. What's up guys, we're back with Class with Cass and today I'm going to be teaching all about the clubs. Let's get into it. Starting off with the driver. This is the club that you would use when you're teeing off and you can even hit it like 250 yards, even more. I've seen it go so far, it's gone past the driving range. Next, you have the three wood and this one typically is a little bit closer than you would use the driver, but it's one of my favorites. Then we have the four and five irons. They're pretty similar, but the four will be used to go a little bit further than, than the five. Now we're gonna get into some more of the irons. This is the six and, or is this the nine? It's a little bit confusing, but this is the six, there's the line under it. And luckily all of the clubs have the numbers right on it. So say for example, you are trying out to be a caddy. Your job is super simple if they ask you for a certain club because the number is right on them. You go girl. <laughs> Seven, see the numbers get higher the closer you get to the hole and it will help you with, I guess, your accuracy? I don't know. But depending on the distance, you just, the closer you get, the further down in numbers you go. Lower yardage, higher number. Eight. Nine. And now this is a little bit interesting. I have one with a P on it. P, what does that stand for? You might think it's a putter. No, not even close. Does this look like a putter to you? Come on. This is a pitching wedge. So this is really gonna help you get the ball up into the air, as you can see by the angle. Say you're not quite in a sand pit, but you're in an area where you need to get the ball up onto the green. The pitching wedge would really help you with that. Yeah, don't, uh, don't do it like that. It's supposed to go in there. Anyway, this is a sand wedge, not to be confused with sandwich, which is what I'm about to go eat because I'm starving. One time I was on the cart and this guy asked me if I found a sand wedge and I thought he meant sandwich. And I was like, you really want your sandwich back after I just found it out on the course? It's a little weird, but he meant sand wedge because he dropped it somewhere. Um, so this is the one that you would use in the sand pit in the bunker and this really just guides through the sand well it gets you up out of there and you're on your way to the green okay speaking of the green next we have the putter that's a real putter so you can see it's flat and then you can use this anywhere on the green and this is how you try to get it into the hole As you can see, there's lines on it so that you can line it up to the hole, line it up with your ball, and it just gives you a very accurate read, I guess. Those are the clubs. Don't forget to put your covers back on. Always wear protection. You want your putter to stay nice and flat? Well, make sure you put your cover on it. Thanks for listening to me talk about clubs. Let's go to the golf club. Some food to feed your car. You don't need to break the bank. Find the place to fill your tank. Where is that? Gas station. Gas station? I gotta go all the way to the gas station? Ugh. Wait, they have gas here for the carts. Oh, battery charger. <laughs> sure.
<laughs> Thanks, you helped me figure it out. All right, we'll see ya. Big ass station for the cart. Gosh, I hope my next clue's over here. I don't want to drive all the way to the real gas station. It looks like it's here! Oh, I'm so good at this game. Ooh, what's this? OMG. It comes with a little shirt and another pink ball. Look at this shirt. Oh, it's so cute. It's so me. Wow. Thanks, pirate guy. We're at the gas pumping station. I have my next clue. Let's see what it is. What does this land of imaginary holes have in common with things that roll? If this verbiage doesn't read so nice, imagine a cake and grab a slice. Slice 19. Come on, that was good. Shoes, I like. Thank you, Gucci. Yeah, Tom has to see those. He, that's all he wears. <laughs> He's something else, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate I'll go it. Over it Tommy. Got it, Tom. All right, I just pulled up to slice 19. Let's go in and see if we can find the next clue. <laughs> Last year we were here, we both agreed you're the most beautiful one we ever met. Me? Yeah! Thank you! Oh, yeah. I didn't find it in there. There were so many people in there, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody took it. What do you do now? Oh, look! This is it! <gasps> Yay! Look at all these Red Bulls. Whoever did this really knows me well. Oh, look at all these energy drinks. Okay, I must have been distracted by that guy that came up to me. I didn't even see this sitting here. Got the next pink ball with the clue. I have four legs, some wings, a tail. I eat oats and hay without fail. I sprint through skies and fly swift on track. I let no more mortals ride on my back. The Pegasus statue! Luckily, we're not too far. Let's go. Luckily, the Pegasus isn't too far. Let's see if I can see it from here. Uh, well, there's the Pegasus. I don't see anything. Guess I gotta go over there and investigate. Wait, didn't I say that it was going to be a baby swan? That's crazy. How did I know that? Stop, it's so cute. It's so cute. But wait, there's another clue. So this isn't the last prize? It's so cute. I know most pirates have um, carrots on their shoulders, but I have a swan. I take you great distances at varying speeds, yet to move even an inch, I require you and your key. The great finale is upon you. All I ask is that you think I'm so full of treasure, 
I'm totally pink. It's my car. <laughs> oh, I want to show the swans. Where are they? I think this is the final clue, I think. I'm kind of scared. I don't know what's going to be in there. Wait, how did they get it in my car? Why am I scared? <sighs> Let me open my Tesla app. I never even got a notification that the door was open or anything. Here's this one's a bit of a challenge. Nothing to say in there. There's no way it could be in there. There's one more place to check, and only someone who also has a Tesla would know about this place. <gasps> Holy shit! I gotta find out who this was. I have a pretty good idea with all of the clues that I had. I think I found out who did this. Someone who loves the golf course like me, someone who drives a Tesla, someone who is a big fan of the swans like me. Well, today we had a lot of fun with that treasure hunt. I can't believe all of those riddles. That was so fun and all of the little prizes I received. This was a really good one. I loved it. I loved the shirt. I loved everything. And then that, the whole treasure chest, it was in my own car the whole time. I have a good feeling that it was Tom that did it. I think I'm going to give him a call and see if he knows anything about this. <laughs> Pretty sure he does. Who do you think it was? Comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. That's a lot of stuff in there. <gasps> Look at all the money. Oh my gosh, this is too good. <laughs> Freaking swag. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Who knew my car was the treasure chest the whole time? <gasps> Look at all this money. Sunglasses, there's so much stuff. Phone markers, poker chips, holy crap. What? Who found all this stuff?